So yeah, got a quick storage change. I guess Spirit decided I should keep my closet stuff in the closet. Not that closet stuff, but my storage stuff. Put you on the roof, but the thing stopped, so. We got some clothes, some boots, some shoes, a uh, phone, what else? All the necessities, we hope. Didn't grab tools, because figure if those people wanted me to change their light bulb, they'd have called me or emailed me already, so I ain't gonna worry about that. When I woke up, I thought I had six bucks. And when I was at Jack in the Box, I checked my bank account, and I actually had 10 46 or something instead of 46. So I got 10 bucks in the tank. Which got me almost to a quarter tank before I started driving. Took our coffee shop friend home. She smoked us out. Oop, it's gonna be loud. I should do that. Still hoping to figure out how to get a little dealy here so I can that. It'd be cool if I could then put another one on the other side, tape them together, and then tape both things at the same time. But then if I uploaded them both at the same time, how could you... I guess you could open both YouTube windows and hit start it. Can you sync those? Does that make sense? I'm probably talking silliness. Here, let me just let you see what you're seeing. Every time I do, when I, a lot of times I do that, it zooms in. I don't know. My intention. What's my intention? That's a good question. Pass it on, pay it forward, and entertain. Share experience, strength, and hope. Figure it out as we go along. So is that as we go along, y'all see what we might do wrong or what you could do better. And so we modify and we adjust. And we're bringing this podcast in the form of a cellular level. And like in Lucy, do what any one single cell organism would do and pass it forward. And I figure somewhere, somehow, somebody's listening to this because otherwise I wouldn't be motivated to do it. I'm a strong believer in, uh, I'm a strong proponent, that's a good word, I'm a strong proponent. What am I going to do? I'm going to go sit over there. Uh, I am a strong proponent of intelligence, of course. Granted, I've been putting up with room temperature IQs my entire fucking life. Understand the same people, the people that diagnosed me with ADD and ADHD and hyperactivity and the alphabet soup of disorders. In closing of that meeting with my dad in like fifth, sixth grade. Now, granted, he was tested as moderately gifted in, in, in IQ. And then I go, and it wasn't fucking 20 years. I never thought much about it. I'm like, what's moderately... Here, you can check out the sunset over Denver. That's pretty awesome. down the road and let y'all see the sunset over Denver. Ah, this is really just like looking around. The only difference is I have to make, I have to tell your, point your head where to look. It's clear. Old D Town. Uh, the resolution or the whatever is good for you.
reduced altitude a bit. You can see the sun, we just kind of forced the sun to set. And is it? That's a green truck, so we're going around the block just one more time. Y'all can get to see the block we've been going around. This is the third time, I guess. Good old D-Town. Big dog in the window. Uh, I'm trying to gather all of those uh, tangents and tie them into a pretty bow. All the tangents that we've talked about today. I'm not even sure. Oop, that's a train blinky blink, so I'm going this way. All who wander are not lost, but don't follow me. You might not get where you want to be. Lead follower, get the hell out of the way! Is it me or do slow people just fucking drive you bats ass? I would way rather slowly cruise around this stuff than sit and wait in a line like at a train stop. They're going to the train stop. Well, that's a dead end, so this way and it's kind of like a good parable of life right everybody's got their boxes cruising the halls on the weekend reminds me of the breakfast club and when they're out in the halls on the way to Bender's locker to get weed and they're like I don't know should I do it and he says something like being good being bad feels pretty good doesn't it Once again, millennials surely missed out, but maybe they did their homework, their research. Boy, that was a silvery car. Let's do that. So we got to see the sunset. We got to wander around the neighborhoods of D-Town, just outside the hood. This is probably, by the looks of this structure, it's probably some of the older buildings in Denver. You can usually tell because back then they had smaller land lots. Pretty sure it was the lawnmower salesman that convinced everybody to have big yards. Think about it. It was the paper salesman that told the government to do it in triplicate. It was the oil company that said, No, Mr. Ford, you can't make a vehicle out of hemp. Which reminds me of the story of uh, Nikola Tesla and Edison. Supposedly, Edison had this project that was going to take him 10 years with 10 men working around the clock, basically, to accomplish this engineering feat. And Tesla says, well, I'll do it, and on my own time. And Edison says, well, if you do that, I'll give you a $50,000 bonus. And so a year and a half goes by, Tesla comes back with the work done, he shows it to Edison, he says, uh, so how about that $50,000 bonus? He goes, well, I'll give you a 50 cent raise and over the life of your uh, career here, it, that'll make up for $50,000. I told you I'd give the bonus, but I didn't tell you I'd give you all at once. And Tesla's mad and Edison's laughing. He goes, well, Mr. Tesla, you just don't understand our American sense of humor. It was a country built by pirates. Come on now, arg. Do as I say, not as I do. Just saying.